Yeah. Go. I'm Corey Jones, and this is Grace Busenek, uh, and we are taking care of my sister, Kristen Jones. She was in a car accident, hit by a car back in April in New Mexico, um, and she was a patient at Craig Hospital up until last week, and she came home Tuesday of last week. So tell us how you learned about um, home a, modification. Uh, a sky blue with very builder's grade, um, very. A very normal builder's grade counter and sink uh, and drop-in tub. Um, so one of the things that we wanted to take advantage of is if we were going to have her in here is to take the time to put in some higher quality pieces of equipment and design in here. Um, and at the end of the day, John ended up helping us come up with a design to make her fit. The original concern was that the other toilet was in here was pretty big. Um, so he had come up with an option to maybe move the toilet over here and sink over here. Um, we talked about a lot of it and that was a nice thing about Andy when he got here was uh, you know, they did the demo and him and I came in here um, with specifications for a lot of different pieces of equipment and he walked me through where each one was going to look and where it was going to set up and what sort of room she was going to have. Um, so that made it pretty easy to make a decision. We were able to find a toilet that was small enough to accommodate her commode chair to get in the shower um, and also short enough for her to go over and then a wall mounted sink so she can slide under and use it for her activities as she learns how to take care of herself again. So. And then with the bathroom, this doorway was originally only 28 inches wide, um, and they extended it out for us an additional four inches and then put the double extend hinges on it so that we wouldn't have any barrier getting her in. Um, mm -hmm. And then, of course, the roll-in shower. Yeah, they recommended, uh, you know, they let us, the, the nice thing about it was the flexibility where Andy said, uh, you know, I can either buy equipment for you or if there's a certain shower head you want, go pick it up at the Home Depot and... I'll put it in for you. So we, we ended up picking one that we feel like we can, you know, she's not here. Someone else wants to use a shower, and they still can, uh, and then it provides plenty of room for her to have her shower here in her chair. So he put that in for us, and it's worked great so far. Yeah. So, yeah, we're very happy. It's, uh, we got a nice, waterproof, handicap-accessible bathroom that at the end of the day, when you know, if, when and if she leaves, we'll be able to basically simply drop in a tub there and it becomes a usable, <laughs> usable bathroom with higher home resale value now. <laughs> we had another company come and quote us the bathroom, and the only thing that they offered was the most tacky, handicap accessible showers I've ever seen. Yeah. It was worse than builder grade, and I was like, and it cost just as much as tile. So I appreciated the option of getting something that I thought was more appeasing and something that would increase our home value as yeah. opposed to a generic drop-in tub that cost just as much mm -hmm. and looked and very it, handicapped. And it was nice having the showroom at Accessible Systems because we walked in and basically said, we want that one. <laughs> so John made it look very similar. And they did a really good job between yeah. John and Andy and the rest of the team. So yeah, um, yeah, we're very happy. Yeah, fine, but just okay. keep talking. Ready, go. Okay, so uh, so we originally thought we were going to need three individual lifts for each piece of the home where she's going to need to do transfers. One at um, the bottom of the stairs, one at the yeah, top, and then one in her bedroom. Her bedroom. Um, and so we went in and we were talking to John, and we told him we need three lifts, and he said, "Hold on, I have a better idea." So he brought in his lift expert, and we in the showroom there talked about it, and he said. I think I have a solution for you that's going to save you a lot of money. Um, so he presented us with this, which we bought one portable lift that we can carry between each of the rail systems. And it's like five pounds, and yep. even for short people like me, you can just come <laughs> and bring it to any different location. And I mean, even the PTs and everyone at Craig, they'd never heard of this before. Yep. So we thought we were easily they, going to have to buy three of these, and these are expensive yeah. little puppies. So yeah. <laughs> They can't wait to hear our feedback on them. Yeah. So we're very happy. And it's made things a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. they did the lift in here, same as similar concept as the other ones. The nice thing about this is it covers the whole room. So once you have her in bed, you don't necessarily need to take the lift right off. You can slide it out of the way, make things a little bit easier. And then again, the swing clear hinges on the door here to make plenty of room for her to get her wheelchair in here. Um, and so as soon as we got stair glide in, once that was piece was that hurdle was taken care of, um, we were able to start using her bedroom, and she seems to be very comfortable up here. It's yeah. been very user friendly, um, easy for her, and easy for us and her and home staff. We actually did that ourselves. Ah, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah that was our handy work. Our little piece of yeah. handy work in here. Yeah. <laughs> was that recommended to? Um, yeah, it have was a hardwood type flooring. Yeah, yeah, it's just easier to clean, um, easier to keep dry, mm -hmm. and then easier for a wheelchair as well to move mm -hmm. around on. 